shocking today, mate. Um, I mean, you look at where Everton are, you look at how they're playing, and a lot of people are saying, surely you've got to come here and beat Everton. I wasn't so sure about it. No. Um, but you look at the, the level of performance there, absolutely horrendous. Yeah, the performance itself is embarrassing. Um, you just look at the actual tempo of the play, the way that we performed as a group of players. These players are supposed to be in sync. They train together every day. They're supposed to be a part of a full team. Again, we just went missing. Went missing again. And for me, I always think it's the midfield that goes missing. And I believe that is the full reason today. The fact that Fred went off after 30 minutes mm. with an injury, I believe. But he went off and then I don't think we created a chance after that, I'll be honest with you. Because mm. in the first 30 minutes, Rashford had two chances. But then after that, when Fred went off, we had no control in that midfield. So I believe the midfield was the massive issue today. Definitely was. And, and even going forward, I mean, how do we, how do, how, how do we, how do we fix this? You know, because <laughs> you can talk about a new manager, you can talk about all this stuff, but you, you look at the, the, the team is on the floor, on the yeah. ground. Yeah. For me, it's, it's a full-on system issue from the top to the bottom. Um, you can you can try and fix it halfway up, which we obviously tried to do under Oli. We fixed it halfway in, and it only got us so far. And obviously, we got so far with McFred, as, as I say. And again, like I said, Fred went off after 30 minutes, and we lost full control of that midfield. Um, obviously, we brought on Paul Pogba. Again, missing. Um, Matic, how old is he now? 30-odd. I wish we had him six years ago. <laughs> and... <laughs> And again, we're always wishing, we're hoping, we're wanting, we're willing. We ne we've never got anything that we have and we don't have anything right now that can take us forward currently. And it's very embarrassing for a stature or a club of Manchester United. What was your assessment of the players today, our players? The full assessment of the players, I felt like they felt defeated. I feel like there's certain issues between not just, just, not just today's game, for example. I feel like Leicester's game last, last week was a massive, a massive value of what happened in, in during the season. Um, not the fact that they don't want it, I f the fact that they can't have it. So, at the end of the day, we're not going to get the top four and it's just not good enough. I feel like um, one thing that um, epitomised last week was, I'm not saying it's anybody's fault or Alanga's fault, for example, but Rashford comes on, he's absolutely been battered all his, for the last few weeks. For whatever reason, I love Rashford. I really do. I think he's amazing. He's been out of form. He comes on the pitch, he chips it over the few lesser defenders. He's about to smack it. I'm not saying smack it in. He might smack it wide. He might smack it at Casper Schmeichel. He might do anything. And Alanga takes him out. Mm. And I'm not saying that's Alanga's fault either, but that just epitomises Man United's full season. Mm. Just that moment. Right there. Yeah. You know, things won't go right. Yeah, Poor. Exactly. Would you... Play the youth now for oh, the rest of the season. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. We're absolutely buzzing about. We're in the youth final, youth mm. cup final. Um, so why not? Why not? I'd rather. I think and Wayne's already mm. fucking touched on this. Sorry for swearing, yeah. but he's already touched on this. I'd rather finish ninth or tenth. I think if Leicester win the um, Europa Conference, we actually go into it anyway. I'd rather. I'd rather do all that than give these players that are, are finishing their careers here like. Pogba's off anyway, Matt is off, Matic is off, Matt is off, or I might say Matt, Lingard, sorry. You've got about five or six players that are on their way anyway. You might as well bring in a bit of youth that are actually going to inject some life into this team. Now, at the end of the day, they might not be good enough. Like for, <coughs> sorry, for about um, for about two, three weeks, Alanga was good enough for about two, three weeks. But that's where like your likes of Rashford, your likes of... God knows who else, but Sancho might have took a step back gone, right, OK, that guy there, he, he's actually embarrassing us. OK, what I'm going to do next time I get in the team, I'm going to step up and I'm going to make sure that he's never, ever, ever getting back in my place again. And that's the way it should be. And then guess what, again, it's not it's not happened again. Yeah. We're chucking on you that potentially aren't good enough mm. for that, but I believe now you chuck on, yeah, you just play him, just play him, definitely just play him.